Happy holidays, everyone, to celebrate the season and show my appreciation and thanks for all of your support. I am offering a 25% off coupon and I hope everyone has a merry, merry season filled with joy, love, and laughter. Hello, beautiful Geminis. How are you today? Welcome to the channel. My name is Donna. So when we look at this reading, the overall energy of your person at the bottom of the deck is truth and clarity, honesty. We have romantic approach and offer of love. And we have five of swords. There is a thorny issue that's very difficult to deal with that your person feels they're haunted. It is haunting them. It's hanging over their head. The energy in terms of their thoughts is they feel as though you are their soulmate. They think of you as their soulmate. Two of Cups energy, deep love, deep compassion, of in really feeling as though when they're with you, the feeling of happiness is profound. The Page of Swords says that they're really thinking about what that means and their bigger perspective, the bigger perspective of their life. Your person is feeling very, they think of you as very fiery, very passionate, somebody who's very much a leader, very strong, loyal, you know what you want, and you go after it. The Fool card says that sometimes they feel as though you are the leader in the relationship. In fact, sometimes I think that they like that. Sometimes I don't think that they like that because we do get... They see you as a star, but also like letting go of something. So we're going to clarify that energy of what your person is letting go of because the star card is the, the outcome or the clarifier. So they need to release something to heal, to come into union with you. That is, they feel, they think that you are their person. So they have to release something else to have you in their life. Could it be a thought, a person, a situation? When I give five of wands, I think of competition. So they have to choose to let go of competing energies, whether they be work, people, like I said, uh, places, things, whatever. But they will be making a significant offer. Let's see what the Page of Swords is doing here in terms of them spying on you, watching you. Your person sometimes worries that you're highly desirable to other people and that sometimes they feel as though they might not be there and available to you enough. They feel very much that they have to possess a powerful energy to have the relationship. The Daddy card, the King of Pentacles. Your person may be in an energy of feeling like they want to nurture the relationship and that they have to bring their best energy to the table in this situation. The energy that we have in terms of their in their heart space, they fantasize about you a great deal. They love you. They fantasize spending time with you. Your person wants to invest in the relationship. And again, now we have the Queen and King of Wands. So the energy tells me here that with the King and the Queen right next to each other especially, that you are a great match, that the two of you together with the Ace of Coins twice, that the two of you are very powerful. This person loves you. They want to have more with you. They are feeling, and we have the Four of Swords, we've had it here twice the four of swords means that they have to heal from something toxic so let's look and see what the four of swords means to them because we've had it twice so let's see why we have the four of swords here in this energy please the ace of swords the truth the whole truth and nothing but the truth so your person may not be telling you something your person may be keeping you in the dark but let's see let's get some more cards here the Two of Cups. I'm, okay, so I don't feel as though for most of you that your person has actually told you. Two of Cups, Two of Cups, soulmate energy of the minor arcana. And what it says to me is it looks like they've held back with the devil card. It looks as though they haven't told you. 
and that it has caused a rift in your relationship or at least a, a feeling that of sadness. So because we get when we get the judgment card, the four of swords twice and the devil card, you know, your person sees you as their soulmate. Now of the major arcana, Gemini, that's your card. They feel as though they they can't even choose anybody other than you. That they don't even have a choice about their choices. That you're the only person that has ever really fulfilled them in the way that you're fulfilling them. Now we have the Ace of Coins here twice, which is a major offer. So let's look and see what that Ace of Coins means for you. Because here you are looking all beautiful again in their heart space. They feel passionate. They feel excited. They love to be around you. They love to talk to you about everything. They want adventures with you. They love the passion that exists. I'm sorry. They... <laughs> This bothers me when the cards are like so crooked. Okay, so we see that your person has this fiery desire for you. Again, you're not like anybody else, but we know that, don't we, Gemini? So why is the Ace of Coins here twice for you? The Four of Cups. So they want to make this offer, but there's something that they're hiding. Uh, these They're hiding their love for you. They're hiding that they're unhappy in some way with some other situation that it looks like they're releasing and they're not going to tell you. They're not going to tell you what's going on. But the star card, star card again. There's so much mirroring energy here in terms of what they want. But this star card says that you're the queen of wands, you're the rock star in their life. The seven of swords is here, which means they have their head in the clouds. That can be a card of just not knowing what to do confusion there's you know a giraffe walking around with the cloud the only cloud in the sky is around that person's head and it just see it looks as though they're very much afraid that you will leave them in the cold the sun card a strong leo energy presence here in the reading you represent to them the happiest place they've ever been in terms of their heart space in terms of their love Let's see what we have here for the energy of the Fool card, okay? Eight of Swords, they want a new beginning with you, but they've been holding back. So the release and the offer can be an end to the holding back in terms of what they think they have to do. But they think they want this relationship and they think they want it badly and they just have not acted on it. The Emperor energy is here. Uh, so your person feels as though they have a lot of responsibility that they have to work with. Okay, tell us one more thing about the Judgment card. What is being released to create this offer? Eight of Coins, working on things. So they need to release the energy of probably working too much for many of you. They also need to move forward and heal some situation. What does this person need to heal? The Four of Wands, okay. So that is a Twin Flame card. So your person is needing to heal possibly a wound from a marriage or another relationship or another situation in their life. So take it as it resonates. Everyone's different. It is a general reading. And remember, energies can be reversed. Why do we have... So now we get to... So we see how they think and how they feel, but let's look at their intentions. Their intentions are to offer you a cup of love. So now we have, they feel love and not, here's the offer. Now we have the offer. We had the offer up here. Now we see what the offer is. Now that ace of coins is a significant offer. It oftentimes represents the diamond ring, quote unquote in a significant offer to advance the relationship to the next level, whatever that is. The Ace of Cups is here. This person is intending to, they're still not speaking about this love, but now we've had the Fool card twice, and we've had the Five of Wands twice. So what we see is a person who feels overwhelmed by love. Their intention is to finally fess up. So why do we have this person so overwhelmed? 
the Sun of Wands, the Page of Wands. So for some of you, you could be dealing with somebody that's younger, but it doesn't have to be. The Page of Wands is throwing caution to the winds and telling you how they feel. So that's our intention. Throw caution to the winds. Let go of the burden of keeping this silence around this love that they feel for you. We have the Fool card. They want a new beginning in love. And, and yet there is somebody that they have to release. We get competition, that, that they are, feel conflicted, that they feel like they're, they just may not be able to do it, but it is their intention to have this relationship. Now we've had the double card twice. Now we've had the five of wands twice. The, okay, so now we have this person may be um, attached to another. So it could be an ex-wife. It could be a relationship that's ongoing. You may even know about this relationship or connection. So we see this energy. There's so many cards on the table. I'm sorry. Okay. So we see in this connection between the two of you that this person has been trying to decide this. They want to decide it. You know, this energy that of the full card, a new beginning, they feel held back intentions though are to have a new beginning with you when do we think that might be when they leave another relationship behind all right so that's come full circle now so we can see why they're healing we can see why they're in a state of disarray oftentimes i feel that people um have this this these kinds of love readings when they're really terrified of leaving a family or tradition or somebody that they made a commitment to behind. And, you know, maybe that's as it should be. Families are tough to break up. It's not something we want to go around, you know, having as a value. Yes, just throw it away. So it's very important that this person take their time to make the decision. The Tower card is the absolute recognition that if they don't make a decision, that this cannot come to fruition. The Six of Wands, they want a victory with you. So they absolutely know that the tower will come down if they don't get some clarity here. Because in some way, this person's life looks like it's very painful for them. Like they're carrying around a lot of heavy burden here. They love you. They want to be with you. And yet they made commitments elsewhere, whether it be marriage or not. Uh, it can even be commitments to an ex-wife in which say the ex ex-wife i'm going to say this is a man it can be vice versa but like say that there's a good parenting agreement with somebody and it requires your person to be very dedicated to that former family unit for the children not the person that they were with and now it's impeding their ability they know that once once they make the relationship public there may be real consequences for that. There may be a lot of anger from a, an ex-spouse, a spouse, or whatever. So they recognize that there is going to be some trouble in, in making coming public as a couple. But they are determined to do it. So their actions, look at this. We have the card of the emperor here. We have the empress. So this is their actions. Nine of swords, they're losing sleep over this but they want to manifest. So why are they losing sleep? The Magician card, they are manifesting you. Gemini and Virgo energy, Taurus energy for the Empress, Wheel of Fortune when the time is right. So this person definitely is manifesting you. The Justice card oftentimes can mean the filing of paperwork either for a divorce or a marriage. It's a marriage license. It's the, the filing of paperwork for a divorce. Why is it here for this person in terms of their actions? Balancing things out. The hanged man energy though, the two of swords, they're just not quite ready to do it. And it is a marriage. So we have Hierophant energy. The movement of swords says that they want to rush in. They definitely want to rush in and move forward to do that, that they're going to do it. These are their actions. They see you as a ship in the harbor that's arrived. You're the person they've always looked for. They're, they need to be a bachelor instead of a married person, which is a king or an emperor. 
So they want, they need to be free. This is the action they're taking. Virgo energy walking slowly towards you. High priestess, they are not going to tell you this. What I'm seeing here is somebody who's not going to talk about this process. They're going to keep it silent. They're going to keep it to themselves. They don't want to, you know, darken the doorway of your relationship. The ch okay, now they're giving up all of these burdens and coming towards you very quickly. Gemini, this is a profound energy. The chariot card, that's Cancerian energy. That's the Honey, I'm Home card. You know, it really speaks volumes to the way this person feels about you. When we look at the energy that the challenges in this relationship, we have rising above the fray, the eyes of the eagle. So your person is trying to look at things from a much higher spiritual perspective. We also see the energy that they have, the right use of power. They want to make sure that they don't create undue uh, difficulties with this five of swords energy. They're going to upset somebody and that person is going to cry foul. It does show though that the dream thief is a refusal to the call. Um, spiritually, that's what they came into the reading with. But in the reading, we see the release of that energy. The judgment card says that they go with the flow, that they're manifesting this. And that chariot card is the honey, I'm home with you, Gemini. So let's look and see what you're going to have as the further outcome, spiritual messages about the outcome of this gorgeous relationship. This is a profound energy. This is, your person is really going through dark night of the soul to reach you. They can't imagine living without you, Gemini. We get leadership, yay, stag spirit. They are taking a leadership role in this situation. They are stepping up. We see your person wants stability with you, and they want to be able to go with the beautiful flow of your relationship. Gemini, it's a stunning reading, and I'm broadcasting this from Chicago. Please say in the comments below where you're viewing the video from. Give it a thumbs up if you don't mind. I would so appreciate the support. Thank you. Talk to you soon. Bye-bye, Gemini.